Hartley welcome to my channel. My name is Sandeep Basik. I am 40 years old 3D generalist. My channel has lots of Blender video tutorial that's more than 1000 plus which make you real professional artist. In other hand this channel has GIMP and Inkscape tutorials which are more than 500 plus. I am working in small CG studio, so I make a video what I learned of my experience. To support me for continuing my work kindly subscribe my channel and share my video to your friends and community if my video worth. Thank you and you get ahead to my tutorial video. Hello everybody, welcome back to my another video tutorial. So in this video I am going to sh share you how to make a cinematic good color grading to your footage. So this is my, this is the raw footage. I have downloaded this uh, footage from Pixabay. So you can check it out from the Pixabay to royal uh, royalty free image to learn i have used the royalty free image this is the log image so you can see here there is the log footage and this are after color grading so to do this i'm using the natron natron is open source color grading motion graphics or vfx software it comes under ZP, zpl license you can get it or you can download it totally free without any getting license from the internet directly from the website so the main thing is the main technique software doesn't matter so what software you are using most of the hollywood uh, most of the most very good quality software is the finchy resolve i like the finchy resolve but the finchy resolve what software you you are using final cut pro the finchy resolve uh, or uh, natron it doesn't matter what software i am using or you are using the main thing is the technique what note you are using so if you have uh, if you have got a knowledge about how to make it how to make it transform the uh, any lock footage into a very good quality color uh, color footage so this is the main thing this is the main um, point so how to do that time using the natron so you can see here the natron about the natron you the you can see here natron so check it out how to download it so so what node i am using i have it, i have this note so this note first i import this note i don't uh, show you how to import this note because just check it on my channel how to import this um, any any footage or any image from here from in the inside the natron this is the no, this video is not uh, this video is not about the how to import so the, this video is about the how to make a color grading what note I am using and what lots I am using so ASIO OSIO so I am using the OSIO so import this one import the, this footage and reformat it so new format it to project the project is 1920 and words 1080 format so at first i'm using the, this note so if i deactivate this note you can see here the color effect is here so to get this note uh, just uh, o c i o o c i o or you can write it here 
and go to the color and color look uh, first color looked transform so color look transform hit enter this is the note this is a note property channel in right hand side so i'm using the azx base azx base so i have the azx i have downloaded it from github this is the azx azx main ocio config first one i and change the input color space az image 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 azx base azx base so next one the look is punchy so if i use the look is golden i have changed the look punchy so i change the output color space color space display srb uh, display as sr srd and bt1886 so if you change the display p3 so you can see the result so you can use this one display display imaginary display sdr imaginary or srb so you can see here it a bit change so you can change this one srb display sdr display it's a piece of reddish tone so this is the problem uh, this is the problem this is not so again i i use the same color look transform and i am using the default default the default uh, input color space linear so if i deactivate this one so you can see here it looks like that if i if i activate this one it looks like that so next the second one hit the enter so it automatically appear in right panel so first i am using the input color space linear linear and second if i click this one and look look is kodak kodak rom 20 from kodak you can see here filmic base kodak kodak rom you can see a kodak kodak rom 24 so if you uh, change Kodakom 64, Kodakom 25, if you use the filmic, use the filmic, very high contrast, this is the another profile, I, I use the Kodak, 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 Kodak from 25 so you can see here skin is like a very realistic skin and and the next I use the multiple node multiple modes are how to do the just click it in a multiple node so 1.2 and next I use the hue and color correct if you If I uh, deactivate this one, so you can see here. I have decreased the green color. You can see here. 
you can see here the color is very uh, the saturation level of the green color is very high so to decrease the green color of the I have uh, changed the uh, hue color hue correct so I have decreased the green color and decrease the yellow color so you can see this is the difference between here the green color uh, I decrease the the color green the saturation of uh, plant color green down and i have changed the reg reg 2020 so 790 is the default and i have changed the reg 29 you can see here what i have changed source layer and next one i have use the color correct so how to you how to uh, get the, this note from color hue correct you can see here the hue correct you can get the all note from any kind of software from after effect final cut the pinch resolve uh, or in the blender um, so the note is the main thing is the note what note i am using in in this software so the f uh, next thing is the hue correct you correct or color correct to in here color correct so for master I change some I have uh, changed some it, this is the default value so I have changed the contrast down and this is the default value of gain I have scale it down the gain it is a master and second is I have shadow this is the shadow I have changed the sh uh, sh shadow to if you, if the shadow you can see here shadow is more dark so I have changed the shadow 1.061 I and if it and again I have increased i have scaled it up the gain bit 1.6 i have scaled up the gain uh, shadow and i didn't change the mid-tone default setting and the highlight i have changed a bit the highlight you can see here if i change if I say it you can just focus to you can see here this place I have decreased the highlight here and the last the last note I used grading if I deactivate this one you can see here to make this uh, to add a tint I, I use the uh, use the blue tint on this footage you can see here if I de deactivate this one you can see here the footage is a uh, green tone uh, just like a green tone but I want to add the add a, a, a bit green uh, blue tone you can see here a bluish to do that I use the grade tool so you can get this note from right click or right click color or you can cure mass transform or you can see a channel time draw you can or right click on here and color and uh, you can see click on any here so click on here and I have changed the lift change the lift 
so you can see here or you can um, you can just copy the hex color slash 00041 the dark bluish color so just I have changed this one or you can change a bit but I, I want to change the color a bit a bluish color so this is So this is uh, this is the you can see here. So this is my node. So how to make? So I want to delete this one. This is another raw footage. You can see here. This is the directly raw directly. This footage. Uh, this footage is. This is the raw footage you can see here on the view 2 and this this is view 1 Uh, this is a problem from from the system this is not actually problem to this note I have already used the reformat so you can see here This is my final result. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. See you again in the next video with a new tutorial. Bye bye.